Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to uh, talk about what Donald Trump might be thinking about. And while the committee is heating up, it might be Georgia that's on Trump's mind. There was a pretty bold proclamation made by Nick Ackerman, who was a, I want to say, uh, an assistant prosecutor during the whole Watergate thing. Somebody probably knows a little bit about some tapes, right? This is uh, what he had to say. If you are asking which of these cases right now, which one is going to send Donald Trump to prison, that is the case. There is a really neat three-year felony in Georgia that Donald Trump has violated. Prosecutors love tape-recorded evidence because you cannot cross-examine it. What is significant with those tapes is that when you put it in context of all of the evidence that the January 6th committee has uncovered, you put that together, Donald Trump has zero defense in Georgia. If I had to put my money on one prosecution that's going to go forward here <laughs> that will send Donald Trump to jail, it's Georgia. That is a bold statement right there. I mean, it's hard to argue with the logic. I mean, the, the fact is that as the committee talks more and more about the activities that, are, that occurred at the state level, there are going to be more and more prosecutors that are at that level who become interested for a number of reasons. Some may actually have pursuit of justice in mind. Some see a really easy win that's high profile. Some will have future political ambitions. I don't think that the state level prosecutions, I don't think we've heard the last of those. I think there will probably be more that pop up along the way. Now, this is assuming DOJ does not move forward. If DOJ moves forward, State prosecutors may just kind of shrug it all off and say, well, the feds have it. If DOJ doesn't move forward, I, I think there might be more uh, investigations into the Trump campaign's activities at the state level. And with the evidence that the committee is putting out publicly, they're doing most of the work. All the prosecutors have to do is reconstruct that evidence with their own chain. And they can move forward. Um, so it, it's something to be uh, aware of and watch for. Because while everybody is focused on D.C. and the hearings, it's important to remember there are a lot of other cases out there. There are a lot of other investigations going on. So, anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.